uh, we are going to prove an important theorem and it's known as Schwartz reflection theorem okay uh, so we know that um, there are some analytic functions in some domains which satisfies this property that means f of z conjugate f of z conjugate is equal to f of z conjugate okay for example if f of z is z plus 1 which is analytic everywhere in the complex plane c you see that conjugate of f z is nothing but z plus 1 conjugate and this is conjugate of z plus 1 and what is f of z conjugate so it is f of z is this so f of z conjugate will be what uh, z conjugate conjugate of z plus 1 so therefore you see that these two are equal okay so this this is satisfied on the other hand this is also another analytic functions uh, in the complex plane c and uh, here in this case you will see that um, f of z conjugate of f of z is not equal to f of z conjugate okay so in this case it will not it will not be satisfied so uh, now question is under what conditions this condition will be satisfied hmm, for some for an analytic function in some domain okay so that is given by Schwartz reflection theorem so what it says so suppose that a function f is analytic in some domain d and this contains a segment of the x-axis okay and uh, whose lower half is the reflection of the upper half with respect to that axis for example your domain is of this type this is a domain and this is actually reflection of this so these these two are same though my drawing is not very nice so you see that this is the reflection this is just reflection about this axis and it contains this domain d contains a segment of x axis this is x that means a real axis imaginary axis so it contains a real axis all right so that is given the domain is of the type uh, then what will happen that uh, this condition is satisfied for each point z in the domain d okay if and only if fx is real for each point x on the segment that means if fx is real on uh, on this fx is real means what if fz equal to u plus iv then F, fx is nothing but u of x0 plus i of vx0 and because fx is real so we must have what v of x0 is 0 so if v of x0 is 0 then what is your fx fx is only u of x0 okay so that is given so if fx is only u of x0 then uh, this will be satisfied for each point in the domain and vice versa that means this will be equal if fx is real. okay so there are two parts so first we assume that uh, fx is real for each point x on the line segment okay on this line segment in on the x-axis okay and then we will show that your uh, f of z conjugate conjugate of d is equal to f of z conjugate okay so you are going to show this and for that uh, we claim that your capital of fz this function what is this this is conjugate of f of z conjugate and this is analytic in d so we claim that this function is analytic so we we have or we assume f of z equal to this form and what is capital of fz capital of fz is this okay capital u and capital v so we want to show that your capital of fz is analytic in d so we shall show that the first order partial derivatives of capital u and capital v are continuous and they satisfy cauchy riemann equations so we shall we, are, we will claim that cauchy riemann equations are satisfied and partial derivatives are continuous okay so but your f of capital f of z is this this one so and we have f of z is this so uh, from here it follows that capital u plus capital iv is u of x because it is conjugate of z so it is minus y it is a function of x and minus y x and minus y but there is another conjugation so it is minus i so therefore from here you see that capital u is related to small u by this and capital v is related to small v and uh, if i take t equal to minus y then it is u of xt and minus of v of xt okay so now as a function of xt f of x plus it okay so this is analytic okay and hence ux ut vx vt all these are continuous and they satisfy what cauchy riemann equations what are the cauchy riemann equations 
ux small ux equal to vt and small ut equal to minus vx but i can transform this to capital u so but what is your capital ux so capital ux is nothing but small of small ux and what is capital vy capital vy is nothing but your uh, capital vy so what is capital vy so it is minus of vt okay vt with respect to t and dt dy so dt dy dt dy is what my dt dy so dt dy and what is dt dy dt dy is minus one so it is nothing but vt okay so ux equal to this one okay and uh, uh, it follows that because ux equal to vt and that implies that what capital ux because small ux equal to small vt so capital ux equal to vy uh, similarly 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 what is your uy so uy is nothing but minus uh, u is this so it is uh, not minus so it is ut and dt dt dy and that is nothing but minus of ut okay and what is capital vx capital vx is from here this capital vx is minus of small vx but we are given that your ut is minus vx so ut is minus vx so therefore this this implies that ui equal to minus of capital vx so ui is minus of capital vx all right so therefore you see that your cosimian equations are satisfied for capital u and v okay and because all these capital ux vy etc are written in terms of small ux vt and these are already what continuous so therefore capital ux capital vy capital ui capital vx all these are also continuous and they satisfy cosimian equations so we we see that your fz is uh, fz is analytic so we see that your fz is analytic okay so fz is analytic in in t okay so this we we have seen that fz is analytic in d so uh, now so now uh, what is your in the line segment what is your uh, capital fx capital fx is by definition this is i capital v x zero and this is nothing but in terms of small this is u of x zero and minus i of v x zero and this is equal to u of x0 why because it is given that your v of x0 equal to 0 all right and this is nothing but small of fx so thus so you see that capital fz equal to fz for for uh, uh, for all points all points in the line segment in the line segment okay when z equal to x so th they are equal so we uh, already have a theorem that uh, uh, that uh, an analytic function defined on a domain is uniquely determined by its values along any line segment okay lying in d so therefore we must have that so thus so thus i have what your um, capital fz equal to because they are equal in the line line segment containing the domain so this uh, in d so in d so it was equal in the line segment but it is now equal to equal they are equal in the whole domain d and that implies that what is your, this one so this is nothing but f, del, uh, f of z conjugate of conjugate and this is equal to f of z and that implies that if f of z conjugate equal to f of conjugate of f of z so so this is the uh, one part that we have proved that if and um, the, uh, the it is real uh, your fx is real fx is real in the line segment then uh, i have this this is satisfied okay so in the next video i will uh, prove the the other part that means uh, if this is satisfied then i must have what your fx is real okay thank you